Here Nowhere is about a lonely painter struggling to cope with the perceived overconnection and indifference of contemporary society as he struggles and strives to find a place for his sentimental longings. I felt the need to make this film as a means of addressing the nature of my own expectations as well as, you know, something I found universal was how all of our expectations today seem to be so fueled by the images we consume, right? But so often in time, you know, these sensationalized images and views of reality don't really offer us any guidance or clues as to how to address what we're feeling. Most of the time they seem like they seek to take us away from ourselves to an extent. And that's what I wanted to address or at least look at with this film. We shot the project on film because we both like the format. It happened to mesh with the story in some interesting ways because it's all about, it's kind of like modern disconnect that people experience. And the way that that meshed with this very uh, nostalgic, soft format led to some really interesting stuff. This was the first time I had ever shot on film and I loved it. I thought it was a great process. I think the sheer element of preparation that went into thinking, all right, this is how much we have. And with film, it really forces you to question the purpose and the necessity of that. So that was a great, that was a great learning experience. We didn't really talk too much about visual inspirations. Really a lot of it was dictated by the performance and then the space. On paper, the shots are similar, but the way that I work is much more like documentary almost because basically the entire visual sensibility and like palette of the film like happens on set. Obviously we have like a shot list going in, but once you get on set, oftentimes a lot of that will go out the window. I think the great thing about this process of you know filmmaking or art making or whatever is that I feel like what we had intended kind of reveals itself and maybe even things we hadn't intended, but re they reveal themselves and we see more of ourself in these unpredictable things. When you're working on these like smaller things, these more passionate things, especially with someone like Ian, who is really interested in the mistakes that can come from film, it's a lot more exciting. And that joy that you get when you get the footage back and you get to watch it for the first time is my favorite feeling in filmmaking. The advantages of editing this film is you know, being faced with everything I've shot and having to make something of it, you know? Advantage, I would say so, because it forces me to have a handle on what I've chosen to do and to push myself through. And you know, it's all, it's a great process. Maybe the disadvantage is, is just the sheer limitation of my mind <laughs> and like, you know, my own limitations to see maybe what I could do different. It's kind of a rare thing, unfortunately, when you're working at this kind of like lower budget scale to see the films actually completed. So really, I just hope that it gets completed and that people get some enjoyment out of it. This, this had been the biggest production I had done. It was a few day shoot, nice size crew. It's just, it's been a push. I think this is just a great learning experience. It's like preparing me for the future of doing much more. You know, I'm so thankful for every single person who is helping out. Thank you, every single person who is helping out. Amazing, forever appreciated.